It's time to go across the pond for some Mexican action. Hey my friends, it's Paparoni and look at this. From Iceland, Chiquito Beef Burrito Bowl. Plain tortilla wrap filled with vegetable basmati rice mix topped with cooked shredded beef brisket in smoky barbacoa sauce with sour cream sauce sprinkled with grated vintage cheddar, red leicester and sliced red jalapeno peppers. Oven cook or microwave? I'm going to oven cook mine for a total of 50 minutes. So here it is my friend, straight out the oven. It's looking good isn't it? We've got these chilies on top here, and this sour cream sauce and whatever sauce that is, I can't remember what it's called now. And then you've got the basmati rice down there, all in this tortilla. I wonder how awkward that thing will be to peel away from the side. Well, it's quite crispy and it's falling apart there. Let's try and get in from a different angle. Okay, so it does lift. But I've got a feeling it's going to break and everything's going to fall out. So I'm going to eat it with a fork. Let's get some of that rice. The rice is looking nice and golden on that spoon. And I'm really happy to announce that it's basmati rice. Now this stuff underneath the sour cream, that's the barbacoa smoky sauce. There it is, coating that beef brisket. And brisket, in my opinion, is a good cut of beef, normally nice and tender. I like the way that piece of sweet corn has hitched a lift. And then finally, there's this cheese topped sauce with chilies. Oh, just look at that stuff. It's nice, it's pretty thick. It looks unctuous. And there it is, nice attractive spoonful from the white sauce, bit of yellow cheese and that kind of vibrant red coming from the chili. Now this Mexican marvel will give you 765 calories. 30.6 grams of fat, of which 15.2 grams is saturated fat. That brisket of beef is sitting pretty next to that flowing cascade of basmati rice. And that cheesy chili topping is one of the most vibrant things I've ever seen. This particular chili looks like a knight's shield protecting the cheesiness underneath. Overall, I would say this was a very artistic meal and it smells wonderful, so it's time to get involved. Now then, subscriber Wayne B told me this thing was hitting the shelves today, so I legged it out to Iceland first thing this morning. And I've got to say, you can't get this tortilla off the bottom of the tray. It is absolutely welded to it, you see. I mean, I've just about managed to lift it up there. Yeah, but the whole thing kind of falls apart as you can see so i don't think you're going to be able to hold this and chow it so i'm just going to break some tortilla off get a load of the beef get a load of the sauce and try it that way right here we go oh yeah to put it frankly that is delicious you can taste the tortilla when you get a bit on your spoon the beef is really succulent really tender I really like squidgy, just look at this. Look at that jellyfish hanging off my spoon. It's like, oh, yeah, so the beef is dead good. The sauce that goes on top, lovely, creamy, well seasoned. And I had a piece of chili in with that gobful, and you can definitely feel it down the side of your tongue and in your throat. Job done. Let's have another go at that beef on its own. Yep, tender, juicy, a little bit smoky from that sauce. Cheese sauce. Oh, that cream and cheese sauce is divine. It is, it's really creamy and really cheesy, perfectly seasoned, it perfectly counterbalances the heat from the chilies. So I've got the rice, that is delicious. That basmati rice has got the perfect bite in your gob and the seasoning that they've got on that, oh, just a tiny bit smoky and it doesn't need anything, it's just great. That's as best as I can get it, my friends. It's just falling out everywhere, it goes all over your hands, everything. This thing is a right mess, like me. So I'm gonna try and take a bite. 
That was really quite hot in the hand. But when you put all those flavors together, that is a wonderful sensation. Really moist, really flavorful, very Mexican with that chili kick, lovely. It makes your nose run a bit with that heat. I'll tell you something, the combination and the amount of each individual element in there is absolutely spot on. That is one a delicious ready meal and I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 to this last bite. Mm. So, Chiquito Beef Burrito Bowl. Fabulous effort, chaps, there. You're gonna to need to eat it out of the bowl, though, because it's nigh and impossible to hold in your hand. If you can find some way to stop that sticking to the tray, that'd be spot on. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Hello, aeroplane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, don't steam. Oh, I just can't say anything right today.